Hello and welcome to an InView demo. I've started here at InView.com on our website. I'm going to go click on the InView suite, which takes you to our InView packaging suite. From here, you can learn all kinds of stuff about the software, our different bundles, subscription offers. But let's say you want to take a test drive of the software and have somebody like myself contact you. Click on this 10-day uh, trial, fill out this form, and we'll get you going. So I'm in the InView interface here, and I'm going to go ahead and just start to get uh, a package, one of our resizable package designs. So we have uh, over 2,000 displays and resizable packages. Let's just get a folding carton. We'll go to InView, rectangular box, and let's, let's get a crash lock box. So you can see there's many to choose from. I'll just take this first one, and I can open it up in Adobe, or I can open it up in InView. So I've clicked on InView and here's our box, you can see. And here is the two-dimensional version of the box and we want to resize this box. So if I click on a couple of these different parameters, you can see which ones adjust for what. So let's kind of make it more of a cube. So I'll do five by five by 5.5. We'll zoom out a little bit so you can see it. So there it is, everything's adjusted real time. If I wanted to change the material thickness, I could go in here and pick from a whole a variety of different materials and everything would adjust with that. But what I want to do next is I want to create a layout because I want to print a sheet of these. So I take my, uh, let's do a single sheet nest. I'm going to do a four by eight sheet. Let's put like, I don't know, 0.2 inches between each uh, box. Hit next. Software goes to work, creates you a nest, hit finish. The only other thing I'd want to do here now before I get into my graphics is I'm going to put some registration marks on the corner. So after the print is done, the CNC cutter can go and find these with a camera. Um, so everything's perfectly aligned. So this could be the phase where if you have a bigger company, this could be your uh, engineering or design department. And so they've created the, the dimensional structure. And then from here, let's save it. And I have a demo two, so let's just call this demo three. Save. I'm going to close out of InView. I'm going to go over to Illustrator. Now, I am by no means an Illustrator expert, but one thing you'll see here is there's our demo three. It's an InView file, but because we have a plugin, we can open it. And here we go. So here's our box. Everything is ready to go. I'm going to take and throw this little butterfly on it. And I want to kind of show you something cool because we have what's called a replication. And uh, just for fun, we'll throw this fish on here too. Like I said, I am not a graphic artist. Our customers do much better work than I do. But now that we have this on here, let's go refresh so you can see the the two images on here. And what we want is we'd like this to bleed or come over and as the lid closes, that image beyond there, just perfect. So I'm gonna grab that image, this face, hit replication and let InView do its work. And so here you can see now it's right there like it should be. And if we open and close the lid, then you will see. So let's go reverse phase and it's opening up. And let's play it, play the phase back. And there we go, it aligns just perfect. So the next thing I wanna do is go ahead and let's just do a layout. So up here you'll see the step and repeat in view. We can pick a bleed offset and let's generate the front side of our sheet. We could also, if we had a rear, we could generate the rear. You'll see that we now have um, some conflicts, okay, that we have to resolve because when it bleeds, it's gonna say, hey, uh, which side do you want? Because this is going to be off the box, we don't really care. So I'm going to grab this group one and I'm going to say, hey, let's pick number one. Let's grab group two. We could pick one or two. We'll resolve it. And so now everything is resolved. Everything is ready to go. Zoom back out. And then from here, you can save your PDF and or send it to your RIP. And then you can also send uh, the vectors to your cutter. So thank you for taking time to watch this video and uh, I hope this helps you on your journey for packaging. Thank you.